her drip on the duck from nine for eight on the beast in the eight. Pick in the gate from the branch of speech. I'll be there in the door and I'll put those lean on you. I care if they're named. What's up guys, me Daisy Matt Tech, welcome back to video again. Um, today, um, today before we start the program like usual, like the usual Daisy Matt Pack program and Madeline LLC program, I apologize that I didn't, I apologize that I didn't actually, um, make a video in a while and stuff, so, um, it's a lot been going on, how to verify my YouTube channel, how to get the verification code, and also I had, to, I've been doing a lot with like, um, I had to go to like, I think like therapy and stuff, some private stuff, some private business negotiations my channel so I'm really sorry about that honestly um all that stuff however now I'm working on towards basically just um I'm basically working on to expand this channel so obviously you see me like now like looking like like if if I'm like not dressed in the right way or like I'm just basically not looking like up to date or it doesn't like you know not look presentable I basically or basically just like I don't know basically um not in the mood to show my face cam I, then I will show less but I'm just experimenting honestly because I know people will be like, oh Matthew, you're, 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 you're a drug type because you're doing a VTuber. I'm, I'm not like a professional VTuber because obviously you can see my face reveal, I actually expose my face like 99% of my videos. Um, but sometimes I like being virtuals and you know, so if I'm lazy I'll be virtual if I'm not, if I'm not but to, it's not about that today. I'm um, sorry about the delay of the videos, but today I want to talk about the ocean problem. Now, who's tired of basically seeing all these marine animals dying in the ocean? I do. I do. I really. I do. I hate when um. I hate when the marine animals just basically have to suffer from our mistakes of basically um messing up the ocean. And I want you to like if you're supporting this channel, if you like this channel some more, and you're liking this the videos I make and stuff, I want to do and want you a, a favor. Um, you know, do a favor. Um, I want you to donate if you can. You don't have to, it's optional, it's really optional. I'm just doing my part to spread the word about this because this is something new I didn't even know. And it was it would start up with Mr. Beast at first and it kind of spread to all over the plant all over the planet over YouTube. So I recommend supporting the um what is it called? I, I want to show you this website real quick. Oh, oh Team C's, yes, that's where it was. Okay. I recommend supporting Team C's because uh Team C's is um, I think in my opinion will help on uh, the planet and who, who, who wants to live on earth like I mean yeah let's keep it about 50 we don't have that much money I, I don't have that much money to basically go to a different planet you know or, or whatever financial circumstance we don't have enough money to go to a different planet while Jeff Bezos knows and you know Elon Musk is fine he can go to another planet happily and be fine unless he wants to help people but that's different but even then uh, we gotta save the ocean because like you know, I, I kind of feel bad for the ocean. You know, like what if what 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 happened to the turtles? You know, like what, what happened to the beautiful fishies? You know, what happened to Nemo? You know, what I'm saying. So it's like, you know, like the ocean. If the ocean is gone, that's kind of terrible, and that will destroy like the whole planet, and we will have a big impact on climate and just effect of everything. It, it will just affect everything. The ecosystem. It will lead to unbalanced ecosystem. It will lead to probably like, maybe the purge. Oh, I'm joking it, but that part. But the part that I'm not joking of is the ocean. And I think ocean. I think taking over care of the ocean is very essential. So I'm gonna leave you a link to the description of this website and I recommend donating to them, supporting them. Now I'll, I'll give you updated news if it's um if they actually not helping. Um, but so far what I heard from the internet, I think I think they're a very good candidate. They're definitely supporting the doing the right thing, the support movement of trying to make a future where we don't have to worry about garbage in the seas. And it's really essential. Um very essential. And I believe honestly that like that would be a great thing for the environment and for all of us because we don't have that much money to basically just go to any planet and be fine. Well, even then too then um, we may have to consider um, figure out uh, the clean up the garbage in space. But that's a different story now time, but for right now, we gotta focus on the ocean, because we live on the planet Earth, and without the ocean, um, basically, the ocean would basically be screwed and mess up the ecosystem, and that'd be really bad for the environment. You don't want, you don't want, you don't want no fishies, you don't want no, no, no Nemo in the world, you don't want no, um, you don't want to have problems where, like, the ocean's dirty, and you, and you go to beach with your Princess Peach or Rosalina, and the next thing you know, um, 
it's dirty and then your girlfriend gets dirty from the ocean and it's just not the same you don't want that you want to have a clean ocean where it nutrients your you know your, your skin and relax and girlfriend's happy kids your future kids are happy right I know I want yeah yeah I know I want a clean ocean so I can basically um take care of the marine life you know so yeah please support the um, team hashtag team C's all right and i think that's gonna do it all right so let's get to the video now today obviously today i'm going to um do something unique and as we're going to um keep this in mind we're going to actually go into install operating systems now keep this in mind this is not going to be perfect um we're going to install operating systems which is pretty cool so let me just small this out a little bit uh keep that in mind i don't know how this is going to record i'm hoping it records it um because this is not perfect. Oh my god. I'm gonna do screen capture. Yes, screen capture. Yes, screen capture. Yes, screen capture. Yes, yes. I want to screen capture. So I hope you can see me still recording. I right, good. Hope you can still see me record. So yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is we're going to basically go to um we're gonna go to um we're we'll go so onto the program. So first thing we're gonna do, we we'll go at first I was gonna do virtual machines honestly and just do a virtual machine. Um but I think I'm gonna show you like the um I, I think honestly we're gonna go on the web browser and just search random stuff. So I don't know what, what we should do. I, I honestly don't know what we should do. Um but yeah, do support the movement of the ocean though, definitely support it. Alright, so the thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually install a um I think we're gonna install we, we should do is we're gonna install a Korean operating system. Um I think we're gonna do a North Korean operating system we should install. But we can also do in Chinese operating system, which is cool. Because I have a virtual box, so I can install any operating system. So I don't know what we're gonna do now, but I think I'm go I think I wanna install like, the Korean OS screen operating system, but I don't feel like doing it. So for, for sake of time, we're going to um, look around on the internet for random stuff. So the first thing we'll do is um, we're gonna go to um, YouTube. We're gonna go to YouTube and we're gonna react to a actually no, we're not gonna react to a video, but um, I'm kind of bored right now, so keep that in mind. I usually, I, you know, I hate about myself. Sometimes I just like, I say we're gonna do something, and I just don't do it because I forget about the same topics. So it's kind of weird, complicated process of it. Um, kind of weird, complicated process of it. Um, but I know today we um with the Nintendo Online service, what's going on with that? And that's a big problem um, with the Nintendo Online service because like the emulation they use is very cheap. And it's just, I don't know, it's just not the same. So, I don't know. So, let's look up. I'm going to do the Korean. I want to do Korean because it's going to take a while to download. And it's probably a big file. And I really don't feel like doing that. So, I'm going to look for something else. But what we could do is, we could do is, um, we could do just go on YouTube and react to something. I'm going to just do a reaction video for sake of it. I hope I don't get copyright claim. I can't do that to fill because that will get copyright easily. I realize so just keep that in mind um so let's look at let's look at something else um I'm gonna look at um I'm gonna look at uh, basically um uh, basically po let's look at po I don't know um okay let's see I want to make this boring but I kind of am so I'm so sorry um oh my god so you know it's crazy so the first thing that pops up is Pokemon <laughs> I'm, I want to look at memes of Pokemon I know it's kind of old and kind of late to the party but let's look <laughs> oh my god Pokemon memes I want to look at the memes I want to look at the memes I want to look at the memes I hope I don't get demonetized by Pokemon Pokemon memes I couldn't find Pokemon memes. Pokemon X unusual memes. Oh my god. Sim Let me look for simp memes. Simp memes. I, th I think that's what I want to do. I don't want to get copyright claim, but I probably will. But I, I don't know. <laughs> the world biggest simp. Super creepy. Oh my god. Pokemon simps are insane. Let's watch Optimus. Um, I recommend supporting Optimus because Optimus is one of the best. He's probably he's, he's a good channel to support. So I recommend supporting him. And he's a good channel. He talks, he talks some real stuff. He makes music, and he's pretty good. He's a pretty good channel. I recommend watching him. 
So yeah, we'll react to that. And yeah, so if Optimus you're watching this, uh, I love your content, man. It's awesome. I will always support you no matter what. So I, I remember you made a video also about the the guy that was actually um that was acting like a lawyer, and he was like saying that oh I hate Halloween. It's Halloween, so you gotta deal with it. People are gonna play Halloween. So yeah, it's kind of funny how he thinks that um, the lawyer thought that oh uh, I should not basically celebrate Halloween and basically complain to Optimus. That was kind of funny. And, and <laughs> Optimus, no matter what, uh, you're a good channel, so I'll, I'll support you all the way. So I love it. <laughs> so uh, let's 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 watch this video. So this is gonna be funny. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's get it. I hope I don't get couple claim from Optimus. I'm hoping he supports me and maybe a sponsor. I don't know, but it's a pretty good channel. Let's do it. I'm not a commentator, but I'm like YouTube. All right, fellas, listen. There is no way that this type of behavior can be condoned. Exactly. I'm sorry. I understand that there's simp's out there and everything. I get it, right? Like you, you have a simp issue. This is still a thing, by the way. This is still an issue. I don't know what's going on, but this. <laughs> There's a lot of simps lately, so that that's how the meme became a simp. And then here's the funny part. After that, I think Twitch banned the word simp. So I'm sorry I'm late the party. So what what we talking about today? Talk. What today we talk about is um, it's old video. It's I know it's old. I'm, I know I'm late. Disclaimer: This is an old video. This is very late. This is back in 2020. Now, however, the thing is, I remember is I was in like I think in, in um I was in I think I was in like somewhere else. I had to take care of my mental illness a little bit, but. It's funny how like people are literally simping on a streamer that doesn't care, that just cares about the money. You know, they want the money. That's it. <laughs> Shoot! If I was a girl, I'd probably be um, I'd be making more money. So but I can't. So I can only do um, what I'm limited to. But it's funny how people are doing it. Let's continue. You know, when you see a girl online, something like that, you think she's bad. Of course, like, I, I understand the feeling. But what we're going to be seeing today is taking it to another level. Like, this has to be classified as, like, a mental illness or something, man. It, this can't be, like, a normal state of mind for any human being to be in. I mean, it, it's honestly kind of sad, right? Because these people think that they legitimately have a chance in this situation, and they legitimately believe that, like, what they're doing is an acceptable thing to do, and that this is, like, the appropriate way to behave but it really isn't i think we're all going to be able to come to that conclusion by the end of this now you all probably know who pokimane is you know it, it shouldn't even have to be explained any further beyond that right like uh you can probably already see the situation <laughs> i thought it was always like a joke or a troll when people talk about like man th these people really do donate hundreds and thousands of dollars to these female streamers man they they really do go out here and just drop a check and get, like, <laughs> on the internet and, like I, once again man i i don't understand that mentality I can't condone it. This is, like, you gotta talk to a psychiatrist or something if this is something you're into. And before we go further, like, yeah, I understand, like, giving money to a streamer because you enjoy their content. You know, you watch their streams or their videos or whatever, and you give them, you know, a couple bucks here and there. Totally fine. Totally understandable. You know, I even get it if you, over time, donate a couple hundred dollars to a streamer that you watch daily and really enjoy. If you got the bread, you know, man, spend it, I guess. If, if that's what you're into, if that's what you want to do with it, you know, I, I can't really be like, oh, that's not correct, but once again, not something personally that I would be doing, but we're not talking about people just giving a couple hundred bucks over, you know, three years of watching content, something like that. We're okay, talking okay. about people getting their paycheck and then donating most, if not all of it, to somebody because they think that they're hot on the internet. So, just that is crazy. I didn't think people would do that. I didn't think in the world of 2021 people would do that. But it's, let's watch. It, it's going to happen. It does that. Let's Just watch take a this. look at this picture, man. Uh, already, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Shit. Look at this! I hope it will be a copyright component, but holy crap. Oh my god. I'm kind of short on savings. But DFO, get $500 to drop this week, LMAO, hope she sees this and knows I love her and miss her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is humanity has gone to? We're spending money on like basically useless items. Oh man. Oh man. That's hilarious.
Let's continue. Savings, but I'll defo get 500 to drop this week, Olimeo. <laughs> Hope she sees this and knows I love this. No. Man, I thought she would You know, that's like a... No. <laughs> That's a fight. Oh no, that's that that that's ridiculous. That's 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 hilarious. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing with his life. A go-to comment for a lot of people. Man, I thought that that was like a meme. That that was something that you know wasn't based in reality. It's based reality, son. I'm, I'm telling you. I see kids. I, uh, personally, my experience. I saw I saw people just like. They just when they when they lose out someone like someone they love eventually they just become simps. I don't know what happened. They just I don't know if they trolling, but there's people that literally would do that. I, I don't know why, but it, it happens. Like it's weird. It's wild. But we literally have motherfuckers out here saying, "Hope she sees this." Unironically <laughs> to the on the internet, bro. Dude, I would be so pissed if like, I figured out the amount of money that this dude has had to have spent over time. Like, it dropping, oh, you know, just a casual 500 to drop this week. Hope that she sees this and knows I... At a certain point, the, the bank isn't like, yo, bro, what are you doing, man? Like, we've noticed that you've sent uh, $17,000 in the last five months to someone named Pokimane. That wouldn't happen to be your girlfriend or your wife, would it? I, I mean, I don't know. In that situation, they'd probably be like, oh, yeah, she's my queen how long ago this is or a Madison beer after you know putting off the vacation to donate to Pokimane but he could have just been living life right the squad comes first hashtag devoted hashtag Poke squad bro this has to be a meme am I get getting fucking trolled here on a that has to be a troll that has to be a troll that has to be a troll sorry about the curses I had to bleep that out but that has to be a troll honestly that's that's funny that's hilarious okay but you know, so what, the, what we have learned today, we have learned today that there's people in this generation that just basically will simp on money, simp money for a streamer. So yeah, what's the goal, what's the end of goal? Just don't be a simp and just try to be like, just try to, just try to be reliable to yourself and just have confidence in yourself. You you will definitely get a wife one day, okay? A real wife, not a virtual wife, okay? So yeah, you have a real wife one day and you basically you don't have to simp, okay? You don't need to simp. You just, just go, 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 go touch some grass, go outside, take a plane, and, and just like, and just like go to the airport. You will find someone that you will love, okay? Like, I'd rather you just, I'd rather you just like talk to an animate object than basically simping. That's how bad simping is. Like, uh, uh, spending money on simping. I'd rather talk to like a free animate object, like a computer, even if you're crazy still, it's better than simping, okay? So, we got the disclaimer out of the way. Alright, so the next thing we'll watch is, um, um, what, what's the next video you want to watch? Um, uh, I don't know, honestly. I really don't know, honestly. Honestly, don't know. But YouTube is, um, um, uh, let's look at, um, I can't watch the news because they will copyright claim me easily. So I have to watch copyright claim free videos because then, you know, they kind of consume me. I, I'm kind of limited. What can I watch because, like, they copyright claim me. So, you know, and Nintendo's known to copyright claim and just read just the MC, it's ridiculous, honestly. So, and I have to censor the curses too, because I'm gonna make sure I do that when I edit it, this video, because there was curses. This is what I watch regularly, and that's the sad part. I hope it doesn't like get into interference with the with demonization, because I don't want to get this in demonetized, which probably will somehow. I don't know, I don't know, I hope not. So, yeah. Alright. So what else we gonna watch? Um, I'm probably gonna do um. Let's see what else we could do. Um. Um. Um, what we could do, honestly. What we could do, honestly. What can we do? But okay, I think that's gonna be it. I think. I mean, let's see. Let's go on Google. I'm gonna go on Google real quick. Alright, so one last thing before I end the video, because I think that's it. I just want to make a short updated video. I haven't made a video in a while, so this is just like a short mini video. I may do a, a new video soon, but I recommend checking out this website. Um, this 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 right here, Madeline LLC on Google. Check out on Google. I have like my own page, my own like company page. I recommend check this out because you know it's pretty it's pretty reliable now. I need some feedback on the operating system. Like you could pay for it, 
but there's a free version which is basically based on the same kernel and you can download it on my website it's still downloadable I believe you go into my main website and you can download through there I'll show you right now um you have the and even then you can go on internet archive and get the free version too. you can get the development build and you can develop your own operating system which I did but this is the paid version this is the pro version which is better even though this says pro this is really the pro version this is the more stable version this, I'm a, this is more like a beta one but this is also the no stable one it's a little bit more but it's still relatively cheap it's only forty dollars um cheaper than windows i gotta say but soon it'll be free but for now um it's optional but you don't have to pay for it this is free uh still however this is you kind of pay for it but you can also get it for free so it's not a big deal and also i got the bianca ai thing i got the bianca ai thing you can also use bianca here it's like a chat app i mean a chatting app so uh i may make sure your video how i did that but yeah i'm doing worldwide i'm worldwide you can download tickets to my website which is cool you go to my website automatically it's pretty cool so you can go to my website so yeah i also got on podcast i also got podcasts here so yeah just check me out on google it's pretty cool um, I'm on Google. I'm everywhere on Google. So yeah, I want you to check this out. It's pretty good. I also got TikTok, uh, which I rarely post, but get the idea. So yeah, oh uh -huh, yeah. Uh, your support, your support. I, I I really appreciate the support. Once again, um, support the um, what is it called? C's. Hold on. Um, uh, hashtag. Um. What was it called? Let me see what was history. Um, history. Let me see the history. Yeah, hashtag CMC. Make sure you make sure you support hashtag Team C's. Make sure you support Team C's because um we need some donations for this team machines. We're trying to clean up everywhere where there was garbage and stuff because when I look around New York City, there's garbage everywhere in the seas. It's kind of disgusting. It's kind of sad and we need to recover everything. So I recommend supporting these, supporting the group, the organization. I will leave a link in the description. So that was today's, um, not sponsor, but more like a uh, donation-ish. It's not really a sponsor, it's more donation-ish. But you can say sponsor, but not really. It's not really a sponsor. It's more like donation. And I recommend donate to Team C's if you can. I recommend do you can do it on your own time. Just I'll leave the link. I'll leave the website in the description. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. We just did reaction video, basically the Sims. Uh, I think that was it, and that was the content for the day. Um, I'm gonna make more content, obviously. Um, um, but I'm sorry I haven't made videos in a while. I'm probably gonna get more better I video ideas. Maybe next time we'll install the operating system because I didn't want to feel like doing it today because you know it's just, it just and I know it was Halloween too, so this is probably why I'm doing this so like as Halloween. And I don't know, I, I should have gone with a scary story, but following this, I don't know, it's this is off. I'm probably going with I was really gonna do some the following, but I'm sorry about that too. But I don't know, I should have done some the following. But honestly, I just did the video on Simp, and just, I know it was late, but it's just hilarious to know. Um, but yeah, this is like basically, um, yeah. If you wonder when we'll be on Halloween, I'm basically going to be, um, um, I don't know, I don't know when I'll be. I actually will be like, originally it was going to be like a, like, um, a hacker again, like the hacker again, but I'm probably am a hacker already, so I don't know. For when I am, when I am for Halloween, is, is CEO of Valentina LC. And I, that's that's why I am following. I'm a CEO of Madeline LLC. So if you wonder why I'm ha for Halloween, and it's Madeline LLC, and I'm the best CEO because um because it's following. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not the best, but that's what why I'm following is, is a CEO and a hacker. I'm a hacker following. So yeah. So yeah. Be careful. So yeah. Happy Halloween, guys. I'm sorry I didn't do the Halloween scary time story, but um actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? You thought I was done with the video. You thought I was done with the video? Uh-uh-uh, we're not done with the video. <laughs> oh, I forgot it's not April 1st, but happy Halloween. It's not It's not, It's not. not the end of the video, guys. I, I kind of lied to you. I'm so sorry because I'm very, like, over the place right now. But let's... I don't want to finish the video right now because I'm kind of in the mood for one last thing to talk in the video, and that's a scary story. So, because I know it's Halloween, and I forgot about that. So, it's Halloween. So let's get to the Halloween story. So after we saw the um the sim video, let's talk about the Halloween story of how the, the hidden 3DS. So let's get it. So a long time ago, I had this. I had a console called the 3DS. Now the 3DS was a very good product that I enjoyed. Now 
this is during the time where everything used to randomly break and I didn't know what happened and why it breaks. This is before I could fix things easily and it was easy to fix, which I'd rather have that power than breaking things. But the most scary one was the 3DS, let me tell you what. So back in my day, the 3DS was a pretty creepy console. Um, actually no, it wasn't creepy, it was, it was a good console. I don't know why I say creepy, but my story was creepy because it just broke. So the creepy was, I had a 3DS, right? I left it on top of the bureau, on top, on top of like the dresser. And I went to, oh wait, the battery's low? Oh no, I didn't plug it in. Let me plug it in, let me plug it in. Oh my god, I gotta charge it. I forgot to charge it, oh my god. Please charge, please charge, please charge. Yes, charge. I forgot to charge it, holy crap, that explains a lot. That explains a lot, that's why the battery's low. I forgot to charge it. No, is it charging? Please charge, please charge, please charge. Okay, it's charging, it's charging, it's charging, it's charging. Okay, come on, come on, please charge, 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 for sake of it. Please freaking charge. Please charge, please charge, please charge, please charge, please charge, 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 charge. Charge. No! Damn it! Damn it, Jeff! Charge, please, charge. Okay, it's gonna die soon. I hope it doesn't die. Because that would be kind of sad. I hope it charges. Please charge for sake of it. I didn't know it was not charging though. I hope it charges honestly. I don't want it to die. I'm hoping it charges. But I'm hoping it charges. Please charge. Please charge. Please charge. Please charge. Please charge. Please charge. Charge. Okay. I'm hoping I have enough juice for this. Holy crap. I didn't know I, I didn't know that I forgot to charge this. I'm hoping it charges. So I'm, I'm relying on these batteries, so let me just make this story quick a little bit. So, I'm hoping it charges. It's like dead, but it's char it's like charging, so I'm hoping it charges. It says it's charging, so it should be good. Okay, so a long time ago, um, I was known to basically just, um, I was trying to like, I'm okay, the 3DS, yeah. So the 3DS was a very good product, for instance, I enjoyed. Uh, for instance, the 3DS I enjoyed was very revolutionary. Um, but one day, I actually went to put the 3DS on the, um, on the, basically the, um, the dresser, right? And the thing what happened to it is that it actually randomly broke. I don't know what happened to it, but it's just like, um, it didn't randomly broke. This is what happened. It basically, when I went, when I left to go to the bathroom and clean up something in the bathroom, for some reason, the dresser actually, um, I mean, the 3DS went, went in, into the bucket magically. And it's still unknown how that happened. I still don't know what happened. It was pretty creepy. Um, it was pretty kind of goddamn creepy. So I was like, I asked, I asked everyone. I was like, hey, um, who put my 3DS in the bucket? No one said anything. Uh, no, one, they said it wasn't them. It wasn't them. It wasn't them. It wasn't them. So that seemed kind of creepy. Um, they were like, I'll show you the 3DS what it was. It was the new 3DS XL. The new 3DS XL. XL, XL. That's what that was. That's what it was called. It was called the new 3DS XL. I'm hoping it charges. I hope it charges because I'm. I'll tell you. That. Yeah, it was called the new 3DS XL. I had this exact model. This exact model. And the thing you gotta remember is this one. It only lasted for one day. Actually, two, one day. That was it. And I was tired. I was kind of mad. And I had to wait. I wait. I think like five, eight years to get a new one, and that was the new 3DS XL. And by then, no one was doing the 3DS XL anymore, so I went to switch to the Switch. So that was kind of sad. But during that time, I kind of miss it, and it was very long. But the thing I still don't know how that happened is how did it get in the bucket? I didn't put it in the bucket manually. May I thought maybe it fell, but even then, with the weird part is it was somewhere safe where it couldn't fell. So it was very interesting, and it led me to be very paranoid and made me think that that someone actually put it in the bucket, but what's weird, here's the creepy part of the story. It's more like a creepy pasta, but here's the creepy part of the story. The creepy part is that, that on the camera, on, supposedly there was a security camera in the house at the time, and it was kind of hidden. I don't know how true that is, but that's what supposedly one of my, um, at the time, um, my mom and my worker, mainly my worker, that's when one of my workers, so, not true, it was more, um, I think it was more as like um, the therapist I was talking to, I call it therapist worker, was saying. And for instance, one of the things they were saying was that um, that there was a security camera and it was hidden. I don't know if they were lying or trolling at the time. I'm pretty sure they were trolling. But what's creepy though, they said it was technically me. It was me that did it. 
And to this day, I still don't believe that was me. And I believe there was actually a ghost that happened. It was probably haunted. Because there was theories too, which is the scary part, is that Hampton Green was built under um, the, the place I was in, the, camp, the, the neighborhood I was in, was built under a cemetery, which is kind of creepy. So that came even creepier. So it's still debatable on this time. And this is why I try to stay away from ghosts, but honestly, I think it was haunted too, because it was kind of creepy. It was, some, it was some weird stuff I saw. But what's even creepier was Beekman Circle. Beekman Circle was even more creepier. But I, I wasn't there at the time, luckily, so luckily I didn't have to worry about problems like that. But I know mom saw, so I, I know my mom could like, tell you stories about Beekman Circle. But honestly, I think Hampton Green too was also creepy too sometimes. Um, especially when it comes to like, um, especially when it comes to like basically stuff breaking. It, it, it would just break all the time. And it wasn't like a break like through two years, which is normal. Even then, like now when I when I have things, it works really fine all the time. And the much I try to break it, I can't break it no more. It, it's hard for me to break stuff, which is very good. And the only time it breaks stuff is like even if, if it's cheap or like it lasts a very long time, then it will break eventually. Even after even my switch, I thought the switch broke. I thought the, honestly the Nintendo Switch broke, but I realized that it didn't break. It, it actually still works, which is pretty cool. It still actually works. So I didn't know, it actually still works, which is pretty cool. So Nintendo Switch actually still works. I didn't know that, but it still works, so that's pretty cool. And, you know, yeah, the power button doesn't work kind of quite normal, but it works. You can power off, it still works. So, it's, so yeah, it, that's the weird part. I'm still trying to figure it out to this day. But what's interesting too, you have a lot of people in the house too, and you have many people. Not, like, it was more than like now. And plus you had other people that came to the house too, like, I can't say it, but you know, in this video, their privacy, but, uh, yeah, you have a lot of people that was in the house, a lot, and also unbelievable, so it's still unknown what happened, and there was stuff that was missing too, so it's still unknown what happened, um, but did I get brain for it, some, some, some scenarios, yes, and it's not perfect though, um, but luckily, it, it, uh, luckily I got my 3DS again, it wasn't the 3D, it wasn't the, it wasn't the, new 3ds exam it was the new 3ds which is probably better it's cheaper to replace you, uh, this one is more expensive the, the, the new 3ds is more cheaper to replace and plus I didn't really th need the 3d anyways it was more like a gimmick anyways I just love the games on it um, but yeah the new 3d the new 3ds XL um, that was a good product it was very expensive and it was a gimmick it had 3d which was cool at the time but I didn't really need it, and even had more more games that stopped supporting it, so it really defeats the purpose. So yeah, but yeah, that was the story of this 3DS. Now this one I had, that was my fault. I knew why that break, and that was, I didn't want to get to that. That was, yeah, I, I know why that one break, this one right here, you see the arrow, but I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you get the point. So that's what happened to the 3DS. Um, it's still unknown what happened, why it goes like that. This is why I call it creepy because the creepy price I still don't know to this day how it broke. Um, the much I much people say it was my fault, which I admit it was my fault. I, I gotta admit I was a trouble at the time. But to this day I'm still trying to investigate this issue. Um, compared to most stuff, I kind of knew what happened now because I'm more aware of tech savvy, more tech savvy now, so I know what to do. It, even if I doubt of tech savvy back in the day, I wasn't. I really wasn't. I know how to fix things. And I still don't know fixing the hardware, but at least I have a concept of like, if I can't fix the hardware, I'm not going to mess with it, I'll just replace the whole thing. And, and this is why I believe in also the right to repair movement, and I think that explains why things are harder now to fix now than it was before. Um, and slowly getting easier and easier, because now the right to repair movement is taken to fruition, and it's going to make it easier to repair stuff, even then, right now it's kind of hard to repair your new stuff too, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Um, you might as well replace the whole thing. It's, it's so expensive to repair that you might as well just get a new device. That's how bad it is. It, even MacBooks, like MacBooks, you can repair it, but it should be expensive to repair, and you might as well get a new one. It's just it's ridiculous how expensive the repair is. So you might as well buy a new one. It's like the DSR. You could, you could repair it, but you might as well buy a new one because it's cheap. You could buy. <laughs> well, technically, yeah, cheap now, but back in the was expensive. So you might as well buy a new one. So it's kind of ridiculous how that how it got expensive. But the other option would be get to get a refurbished 3DS. It'd be cheaper. Yeah, you could get that, but that's only if you want a new one. Even in, that's only in the, if you're in the used market, in the used market, which works really well. I never had problems with refurbished devices. That actually works really well. Like this laptop that I have right now, that I use everyday use. This thing is more durable than like my previous 
devices that I own. And this actually lasts a very long time with things considered. And this is actually refurbished by the way. And I never have pro I never have problems with refurbished devices. And this is probably the reason why this one particularly was refurbished in Canada. So I got a particular one that was kind of brand new. It said it was brand new. It's always the guy says brand new, but I knew it was refurbished because I opened it up. It was actually refurbished. But I could tell it was like new. But what is interesting, this is actually easy, probably the only laptop that's probably easier to replace. Even though it's proprietary and down one that makes it harder to replace. This is actually one of the easiest to fix and work on. You can actually upgrade the RAM on here. This one you can actually upgrade. So it's kind of like a PC a little bit, but more like a laptop. That's why I like older laptops because you could actually um, repair it easily. Now, the new ones kind of suck with the touchscreen. I don't like the laptop with the touchscreen. I don't buy that. I, I hate them. They're much like they're cool. I, I think it's a gimmick in my opinion, and I think that's why Apple just don't use touchscreens on their MacBooks, which I support that. Um, because why, who needs a touchscreen on the laptop? The laptop, you don't need a touchscreen unless you're using the iPad. That's different. But like, this is a laptop. You're supposed to use a touchpad. And that's it. It's the most accurate. Like who needs a touchscreen on a laptop? You can use it as a stylus, yeah, but. What's the point, you know? Unless you're using the iPad, that's different. But even on the Apple Switch to touchscreen too, eventually on their new iPad, so it's out on the Mac, so it doesn't matter. But even then, I don't know. I, I don't believe in like if you want a stylus, just use adapter and just use like the the, the pad to use as a stylus. It makes sense. It's harder, but it does the work. So I don't, know, I don't like touchscreen on. I don't like touchscreen on laptops. It also makes it harder to repair. It makes it more expensive. It's just, I don't like it. This this laptop cost me four hundred dollars. Um, technically it was three hundred ish fifty. Um, for like basically, but really it was four hundred because of the um, I got warranty on here. The warranty probably expired already, so the, and I don't know what I did with it. So either way, if something happens to it, I don't know what happened to it. It's probably gone the warranty, but I had warranty on here too, which is good. So even then, like if it like breaks down in a few seconds, which I got it from Micro Center. So if you want to get computer parts, I recommend go to Micro Center and they got some good stuff. They even got some good decent ones, even though it was like older, they got some good stuff. I went to Micro Center, probably one of the best stores I went to. And that was thanks to like one of my um people at um people at basically uh, um at um basically um at, at, at the residential facility. So it was cool. They got me a very good pro product. Originally, I was going to get something cheaper than this. Not kind of cheap, but it was like a dual boat. It was like 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, still 216 gigs of storage. But the difference is the core, the, the, um, the CPU would have been a core i5 core for, for first gen. Because I didn't know about generations. And honestly, now I knew how generation works. This generation so when it comes to cores. And it's now easier to understand when you're more tech savvy. Before I thought, okay, get a CPU i5, that's it. That's not the case because that goes with generations. But we have i5. i5 first, first generation could be different than the fourth gen, and it could be different than the ninth gen. So it, it kind of different. Um, this was the i5 fourth gen. This is the fourth generation. So I'm gonna go with the fourth gen. There's also a fifth gen, I believe, a sixth gen, seventh gen. Actually, mainly the seventh gen, but. Um, I like the fourth gen. The fourth gen is, it still works really well with modern hardware, and it works really well. So go with the fourth gen. I think the fourth gen still runs in 2021. First gen, however, I don't recommend. I, 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 I you, you, nah. Maybe just for like Chromebooks and stuff, yeah. But for like for a powerful Chromebook, but for like baby to use, nah. it works. But I don't buy that because, you know, it's, it's, it's cheap though. But I don't buy that. It works though. I actually like the first gen, but I prefer the fourth gen for stability, for streaming. Cause I gotta do my streaming, I gotta do my video editing. And this is one of my best laptops I got. And this is the only laptops I have that works that, that I own. This is the this is one of the first laptops that I actually own by myself. Like nobody bought it for me. It was actually I bought it by myself. I bought it myself. This because if I would have had to rely on my mom to bought it, um, a it probably would be not the best optimized laptop. Or I mean, yeah, it probably would have been good, but. It would probably win the not the specs I was looking for because the specific stuff I'm doing isn't looking because I'm more tech savvy with like CPUs and stuff. I know what CPU I need. Back in the day, if I was a kid, that didn't matter. Like, oh, get a laptop. It doesn't matter. I can get anything and it will work fine. I'll be fine with it, even though it's slow. But I had laptops that was slow and I, I liked it, but I didn't like it. But the thing with this one now is I'm more tech savvy, so I know which one is better. Because at first, the first, the first laptop I got was a very slow laptop, but I used that particularly just for like, downloading music and stuff on my MP3. Because I didn't have access to a laptop, so I just got a cheap laptop just to download MP3. It was more like a mobile laptop, 
Um, just a download MP3. I didn't really do. I didn't really. I did a little bit of video editing, but I mainly do it on my phone, and it worked at the time really well. That's why you know my first video was kind of crappy. And even then, the video editing software I used it was PowerDirector, and it had like a watermark. It was ugh, watermark. Why did I use that? But it's, it was it was cheap. It, it did the job until I paid for like Photoshop and like Photoshop and Premiere Pro, and then uh, I still have I still have the I still have prescription subscription for that. But then also I went to Caden Lines and Leo's that was free, so I didn't, I didn't have to like basically pay for it, but I still use Photoshop still for free. Uh for that I paid for of course. And it's pretty cool. So like this. So I paid for it um yeah. This is the 3DS real quick. But yeah, I kinda I, I it's kinda sad that they don't make them no more. But these were good consoles, man. I never got the small one. I, I, that small one looks nice. It looks cute. I never got the small one, but I got the bigger one, though. The bigger one. Because that was the only thing you had in America was the bigger one, which was weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure they did have the small one, but I couldn't find the bigger one. The small one. That's the Japanese version. Yeah, so yeah. That was the 3DS. That was the story of how like the 3DS randomly broke. It's still unknown what happened. I don't know what happened, honestly. And yeah, I don't, I don't bother to. I really don't care now at this point because I have a video already. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you, you support hashtag Team C's. I'll leave the hashtag below. I'll leave the link below this website. So yeah, thank you for subscribing to my channel once again. And yeah, I know this is very long, sort of, not really. It's been an hour long video. But thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you, my tech. I gotta go hack a server for a purpose in the West. Happy Halloween, guys! And I'm sorry I didn't do a very scary Halloween story, but you know, it's something. I did, at least I did content for today. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Happy Halloween, guys! And yeah, love you all and bye. Thank you for supporting me.